Why does Judaism put so much focus on matrilineal descent, such as Jewish identity is determined by the mother, but completely disregards the father? Often I hear it cited that, look, Moses married a non-Jew, the daughter of a Midianite priest, Abraham married a seemingly non-Jew, Ruth herself, who was the forebearer of King David and Mashiach herself, was a non-Jew, as it were. So where does this whole notion of matrilineal descent come from? Let's be very clear. First of all, in regards to that specific misconception, these people, these women rather, these unique righteous women, were not non-Jews. They essentially embraced monotheism, which was the sum total of what it meant, as it were, to be a Jew in that time prior to the Torah having been given. Sarah embraced the way of Abraham. Zipporah, the wife of Moses, embraced the way of Moses. And even Ruth, well, she certainly converted. You can find that nowhere more so than in her declaration, where you go, I will go, what you will do, I will do, where you lie, I will lie, where you die, I will die. So the mother does have to be Jewish in order to be able to establish the Jewish identity of the particular child. The Torah itself, when issuing the prohibition against intermarriage, says you shall not take one of their sons for your daughter, nor shall you give over your son to one of their daughters. And then the Torah continues and says, for he will lead your son astray. By definition, when you take one of their sons for your daughter, then he, that non-Jewish son, will essentially lead your grandson astray. But he's still considered your grandson. He's still considered Jewish. What the Torah does not address, however, is that when you take one of their daughters for your son, it doesn't then say, for he will also then turn your son astray, because when you take one of their daughters for your son, that child is no longer considered your child or your grandchild. That child is essentially not Jewish. The Kabbalistic understanding of why the child is determined by virtue of the mother is because the mother is the one who conceives the child. The mother is the one who is the caretaker of the soul. The mother is the one into which the soul descends into in the first instance before being born into this world. And therefore, the mother itself, herself rather, has to be a Jewish soul that then conceives this Jewish child and brings it here into this world. When it's a non-Jewish mother, she is, to all intent and purposes, unique in the way she has her own defined role. She has her own unique soul, but doesn't have that added godly soul. And thus, whatever newborn child is going to be conceived through her contains a parallel soul to that of her own and not a Jewish soul. If you liked that video, hit the subscribe button and notification bell below for hours of the best Jewish content online.